Guys, guys, guys. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? In today's video, it's something different, something light, something fun, hopefully something entertaining. So as you can see on the screen, what is that? What is that? Do you have a clue what this video is all about? Well, you've seen in the title of the video, amazing, funny, unique, and very eye-catching Pegaxi horse name. And before we start, um, I just want to apologize in advance, or hopefully if one of the uh, fe horses that we fe I feature here in this um, video, if ever one of the horse owners will uh, see their horse in here, hopefully you will uh, like this video, and hopefully you still like me after this video, because in this video we will um, deep dive we will try to analyze we will try to uh, digest what's the scientific mathematical spiritual emotional or, or mental reasons why these names were formed or why these names were given to the baby pegas and to start to start the uh, analysis why do you think, guys, let me know on the comment section, why did the horse owner uh, name this horse General Betlog? So for those who are not aware, Betlog is the Tagalog word for your balls. You know that balls that I'm trying to uh, tell you about. So General Balls in English. So it's not the ball, but uh, you know the ball for adults. All right, we're, we're still want to be wholesome here. So we don't want to uh, explain further what kind of ball is that. But again, we're here to analyze what do you think the owner is thinking while he is writing the name of the baby Pega. For me, maybe, maybe, maybe um, he's referring to his or wishing to be his. I hope it's a good opening joke, guys. I hope it's a good opening joke. Let's proceed to the next horse. Uh, as you know, these horses, I forgot to mention, are the horses I encountered during my race. All right, so let's go to something different. Betty White is God. If you don't know Betty White, I forgot as well. I think she is. Let's Google for a bit. Who is Betty White? I have a picture in in mind, but I'm not pretty sure. Okay, so Betty White was an American actress and comedian. Yeah, I know that's that's what I'm drinking. A pioneer of early television with a career spanning seven decades. White was noted for her vast work in, in the entertainment industry and being one of the first. So obviously, this um, when when the owner is naming he the horse as Betty White is God, we knew that. She, she or he is a big fan of Betty White. All right. So in short, the uh, technical analysis is the owner is a fanatic. That's all. Let's go to the next horse, guys. Next horse. Carrot cake. I think the owner is baking by the time that um, he's uh, breathing. So, and then he cannot think of anything else but the cake that he or she's trying to bake. In fairness, it's very cute, very cute. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? And I, are you enjoying so far? Let me know, let me know. Aha, uh -huh. this is a very another interesting winner in one of the race that I've been racing. The cursed one, two dollars. This one, I really need to... Um, uh, think so many times why why um, this is the name of the horse the cursed one two dollars I can't until now guys I don't know what what the owner is thinking during this time is there any saying about cursed one dollar I know I, I know uh, for a fact the my two cents worth but I never heard of the cursed one two dollars so please comment below, guys. I can't really understand the scientific reasoning or biblical or religious um, explanation, mental explanation of how the owner could have derived or where could the owner have derived the name of this horse. So please help me. 
let's go to the next um, course. Forever first. I think the owner here was was hoping and very desperate. And he's like wishful thinking and hoping that his force, his horse will forever be first place. And so far when I'm racing, it came true. He was first place when we are racing. So pretty good, pretty good. This one, go Fox, go. I think the owner here is a former cheer, uh, involved in cheerleading competition, or maybe uh, always cheering on the side, a sports fanatic. So, you know, to, to make sure that the horse is the same as uh, him or her, you know, like uh, always cheering, cheerful. That's why maybe he named this horse, Go Fox Go. That's all. If you have any idea, guys, <laughs> Let me know on the comment section. I really want to know. Next horse. Oh, goat. Greatest of all time. I, I like this name. I like this name, to be honest. I think, I think uh, obviously, uh, the owner of this possibly is one of the goat. You know, who knows? And uh, he's his fan of all those uh, goats. So that's all that I can say. And I loved it. I loved it. Aha, uh -huh. this is another interesting. <laughs> Actually, this name is the first uh, horse name that really made me uh, think and pushed me a lot to make this video. <laughs> this, this name really pushed me and made me convince myself to create a unique video in our channel. So obviously, I have a feeling the owner of this horse is um, changing the nappy of the baby when he is breathing or she is breathing. And then, you know, she's, he or she's busy uh, changing the nappy and she's also breathing. So he's like, what will I name the horse? Oh, maybe just dirty diapers because that's the one I'm doing now. Perhaps, perhaps that's the closest history that I can think about this horse name. Guys, if you have other stories that you can think, uh, let me know in the comment section. Feel free, please, feel free. Next horse. Hold the line. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying. Hold the line, hold the line. Yes, it's a very unique and very catchy. Hold the line. I like it, I like it. Also guys, if you've seen if you've been racing in the past and you've seen some hard to forget uh, horse name, please comment down below. Please comment down below. Next horse. Oh my God. This is the horse that we want to. What? Fill in the blank. <laughs> this is the name of the horse or this is a horse that we want to. Toot, 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 toot. Very timely, guys. Very timely. Very timely, Vladimir Putin. All I can say, the owner could be, I don't want to say anything because the owner could be the real name of this horse. So we want to peace, you know, we want peace in the world. So we won't say any comment about this horse name, okay? Peace to you, peace. Next horse name. Okay, harvest time. I don't know if the owner is referring to his winning in the racetrack or he's a farmer that always harvests or he's a whale, big time investor who always harvests. So it's another interesting horse name. Next one, go big or go home. This is like, um, I think the owner of this is like a, uh, Threatening his horse at the time that um, he's, uh, breast, uh, he's uh, breathing. He's like making a threat. You either go big or go home. It's like all or nothing. So I like it. I think the, the, the owner of this um, horse is, has a really um, big conviction. It's either black or white. 
all or nothing. So I like I like the attitude of the uh, owner of this horse. Next name, Ignatius. You know, when I've heard when I've seen this horse, all I can think of are probably they are the early um, investors or owners of horse because you know they can still uh, grab those names, common names. And, 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 and they're so lucky because they were able to come in early, in, even in terms in profit. So well done, well done to the owner of this horse. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh my God. I think the owner of this horse is a YouTuber because he likes to click bait. <laughs> well, again, guys, Disclaimer, as I said previously, this video is only for fun. So nothing uh, personal against the uh, horse owners. I just encountered them during my race. Next horse name. Aha. Uh -huh. Back to America, guys. Back to America. Do you think she's Ivanka Trump or a fan of Ivanka Trump or a fan of Donald Trump? So I'll leave it to you. And uh, yeah, benefit of the doubt to the owner of this horse. Next horse. This one, I think, believes in um, luck charms. Is it Feng Shui? How do they call that? I think he, 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 he's hoping desperately that the uh, horse will always have a lucky strike. Yeah. Because obviously it started as RNG. And it's still an RNG game up to the shooting of the video. So, yes, good luck to the owner of this horse. Next name, Apocalypse. Again, uh, I think this owner is one of the uh, early ones who can choose all these beautiful um, names and um, memorable names that now we cannot use because it's already been taken. And it's also scary. This is, uh, are we nearing the apocalypse? Hopefully not. All right. Lovely name. Next source. Hot Tin Roof. Oh my gosh. This one I don't know as well. Why the um, owner named it as Hot Tin Roof? As hot as a roof or as thin as a roof? or very metallic horse, so I'm not sure. If you know, guys, if you have any idea, let me know. Please, please help me. Next horse. Oh my goodness, taxable event. I don't know if the owner of this horse is an accountant or if he wants to remind the, the Pega team that they need to tax this event. Or I think he's a government official who wants to tax. So benefit of the doubt. We don't know why the owner named this as taxable event. Or is he reminding all of us that we need to pay our tax? Another amazing uh, horse name. Next one. Uh -huh. I like this horse name. It, it, it connotates um, negativity, but, but it's very timely. It's like everyone can relate. So it's like when I see the, the this horse winning, I'm like, oh yeah, this horse also is, has also anxiety like the rest of us. I like this horse name, even if it's a positive meaning. Lotus, yes, one of those very common name, very common word, but I always, you know, when, when I see this horse name, I'm like, I know they're one of those lucky investors because they were able to grab this beautiful one let uh, one word names for horses. F for now, it's very hard to, to name horse with the common ones. Like what are the common ones that I can think of? Beautiful, right? Queen, princess, her majesty. And like this lotus rose. What else? Magnolia, I reckon they're all taken. Those are the early investors. Another beautiful name. Let's proceed. Anakni Corey Wilson. Anak means uh, son or daughter of Corey Wilson. I, obviously, the owner of this is a Filipino. And um, 
I don't know what he's trying to say here because is he saying uh, son or daughter of Corey Wilton, the develop the uh, the owner or what? Uh, you know Corey Wilton, right? You know Corey Wilton, so I think he's he wants to feel close, um, or he's maybe he's related to Corey Wilton, or he wants to feel like he's related to Corey Wilton. So it's another funny, funny, amazing uh, name. Let's proceed. All right, this one. <laughs> you know, what? I'm always amazed when I see uh, horse names that are um, icons or um, images, not words or letters. So I don't know if I will call this triple coconut or half coconut or old coconut. So yes, it's, it's, it's good. It's pretty good. Very unique. I like it. Treasures. Obviously, the owner here tried Treasure initially, and it's already taken. So he just added S to make it different. As we all know, we can only use uh, all horse names are unique. They cannot be the same. So I think the uh, owner of this owns a Treasure, and he has hard wallet, obviously. So he's thinking this horse will become a good hard wallet. Who knows? Next horse. Ah, okay, I think this is the most unique. The most unique horse name. Like the owner have no time to think. The owner doesn't care at all. The owner doesn't care. Uh, maybe he only has one horse because he didn't put a horse name. So I think it's either this is his one and only because he doesn't need to think of a name. Otherwise, if you have two, at least you will put one to separate or to differentiate one from the other, right? So that's all that I can think when I've seen this uh, horse one. The horse owner only has one horse and he doesn't need to remember it, okay? <laughs> so it's another amazing name. No name blank. <laughs> Next horse name, Jamie. Okay, the usual, one of the early investors who can name their horse after themselves or after their son or daughter. And obviously all the common names I reckon are already taken. So lucky for this whole horse owner. All right, another, another um, horse owner who wants all the um, prices. Let's get it. He's telling the horse, okay, let's get it. I'll put your name, let's get it. So you will win all the time. I think that's what the horse owner is thinking. Love thy neighbor. So the horse owner is either very uh, close to his neighbor or the opposite. So it's either he or she is describing the neighbor to be really nasty and he's reminding himself to be kind to the to his neighbor by you know naming his horse so each time he's racing you know it's like he's so pissed off and he's like oh, oh my one wins so i should love my neighbor or my, i think that's his reminder it's each time that the horse wins like this first place he can remind him or herself to be kind to the neighbor so i think i think that's the history peace to the owner of this horse Purple nut. Oh, it's uh, I'm pretty sure the, the 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 owner of this horse is another Filipino person. Purple nut means oh yeah, it's a purple. It's like a confirmation. Oh yeah, it's a purple. So I don't know where where he or she derived the name because obviously the horse is not a purple. So or maybe suddenly he saw a. Um, purple somewhere when he's breathing or maybe he saw a money with the purple color that's why he just suddenly named the horse oh yeah it's a purple or purple nga in Tagalog I don't know I can't really think of any other good or funny reason why this horse was named after this let's proceed all right so yes 
Santa Claus. This is uh, maybe someone like me who loves Christmas time. And and it's like, you know, some people put um Christmas tree all year round to their house. They don't remove it anymore. Or sometimes they just leave one um, Christmas decoration in one corner of the house. So to remind them of Christmas all year round. So obviously the horse owner is a big fan of Santa or the Christmas season. That's all that I can think. Again, guys, if you if you have other um, story that you can think with any of the horses that we're featuring here, please let me know on the comment section. And I hope you're still enjoying. Sarah Heronimo. I'm pretty sure the owner of this horse is also a Filipino because Sarah Heronimo is one of the pop icons, pop star in the Philippines, one of the... Uh, Great millennial singers. So yes, I like the name. I like the main. I'm pretty sure he or she's a big fan of this um, singer in the Philippines. <laughs> this one is also surely another Filipino owner. Sharon Cobeta instead of Sharon Conetta. Sharon Conetta is a, fam a famous um, Philippine actress. And for almost, what, more than three decades now, and it's either she's a fan or not, because she changed the surname from Coneta to Cobeta. Cobeta means toilet. Ah, how can they murder their horse with this kind of names? Well, it's their horse, so it's up to them to name whatever they want. Baby Stallion, very simple but very nice, nice horse name. And obviously, I'm pretty sure he's one of the early um, batch of investors to be able to get this name. Lovely, lovely. Another amazing, great name, Stargazer Peppercorn. Very elegant, very, very nice. Very good combination of stargazer and peppercorn. A lovely, lovely horse name. I won't ever forget this horse name. How I wish I have this horse name. Uh -huh. This is, uh, I think, maybe same owner as the first one that we've shown, the uh, tax event. But this time, this one is um, maybe the opposite, tax avoidance. He wants to avoid tax. So again, possibly this is another uh, accountant horse owner. So uh, yes, maybe they can get rid of their work during the time of breeding. So they just put tax avoidance. Then and now, wow, I think the, the owner of this is very poetic. Then and now, or what else? Uh, actually very creative by just, Naming the horse then and now. I like it. Amazing. Fabulous. Fantastic. Uh-huh. Not a turtle. Well, obviously, it's reminding the horse not to be slow. You're not a turtle. Probably that's what the horse owner is thinking. Uh, BBM is my president. 100%. The owner is again a Filipino. BBM stands for Bongbong Marcos. In the Philippines, it's currently um, currently uh, ele election year in May, so almost under two months or in two months' time, national election president and Bongbong Marcos is one of the uh, candidates. So obviously, he's endorsing um, Bongbong Marcos using his pegaxi, creating. That's it, guys. That's the end of our um, feature, the horses. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you've seen before uh, names that are also unique or funny or, you know, just hilarious, gorgeous or whatever, please, please let me know in the um, comment section. And I want to hear those names as well that uh, you've encountered in the past. Possibly I would want to um, do a part two if, of this video if many of you likes it. 
as you know, we race every day. So we encounter all, almost every single match some unique and uh, very memorable horse names. So yes, this is uh, in speaking of um, horse names, for those who are aspiring scholars, our um, babe, uh, name the baby Pega is still ongoing. That's why we really like unique names so that uh, same like them, you know, easy to remember, um, hard to forget. Those are the horse name that we want. So yes, please check our videos as well. Thank you so much, guys. If you're new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe hit that like button, and then comment down below. Thank you so much, guys. Until next time, let's go and race.